Shockwave Magazine is Maryland's premier music publication. Pick up your copy at Guitar Center Towson, Record and Tape Traders, Max the Club, and Capone's Inc., just to name a few. And visit us on the web at shockwavemagazine.com. Hey, what's up? Reads up Central, and you're watching Renegade TV. This segment of Renegade TV is brought to you by HR Results, Inc. For all your HR needs, call HR Results at 410-335-6800 or visit them on the web at hresultsinc.com. Welcome back to Renegade TV. I'm with a good friend of mine, Doug Keim from Creative Cycles. Doug, how you doing? I'm awesome, thank you. Great, you always are, and Doug, uh, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to ask you. I know you've yeah. just been named and accepted the spokesperson for the Race Foundation. Yes. That's, that's huge. Um, tell me why you decided to go ahead and do that. Well, the Race Foundation, as with so many charities, it, it's the opportunity to give something back. Mm -hmm. um, after all these years of being involved in the motorcycle industry, I've, I've found that I have a following. And if I can use that following to benefit someone other than myself, you know, why not? It, it, it's, it's like a smile, it doesn't cost anything. With some charities, there's a feel good when you can, you know, someone needs a home and, and you build them a home. There's, there's a feel good. The, the abuse of anyone, let alone children, children yes. and then further worsening that abuse into sexual abuse of children is something where it is very, very hard to talk about. And you can see the facial expression on most people when you try to mention it to them that Almost instantly, they turn you off. Yes, it's a subject they don't really want to touch. They don't on. want it's, to talk it's a about. Difficult subject. And that having been said, the individuals that are the predators mm -hmm. to all of our children rely on that very fact. That's right. That people won't talk about it. Your parent isn't going to talk to you about it. Your grandparents not going to talk to you about it. Your aunt, your uncle, no one is going to talk to you about That's it. That's right. And this having been said. You people need to get involved. You are the only people who can make our children aware that unfortunately there are individuals out there that do not have your betterment at heart. And that being said, the fact that it is such a tough thing to talk about, I, I, I'm a bike guy. That's right. You know, to some extent, the stereotype of motorcycle people does exist. Yes. It's certainly more accepted than it ever has been, and, and I'm very thankful for that. But if it takes a tough guy to talk about something that's a tough subject, well, then you're the my Viking the heritage, yeah, I'm the tough guy. Absolutely. And, and it's guys like Doug Kime that are bringing this to the forefront, like he just mentioned. And for anybody who doesn't know, the Race Foundation is the race against abuse of children everywhere. I, too, have done work with the Race Foundation at my open house parties, their bull roast, their functions, ticket sales. I'll do whatever I can. But guys like Doug Kime who step up to the plate and become a spokesperson for such a great foundation is just phenomenal. And Doug, I thank you. I know a lot of the bikers do, and the Race well, Foundation does as well. I just want to be able to, uh, to show the world you know, what I've said all along, that, that motorcyclists in general are the, 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 the best-hearted people in the world. Oh, there's and no doubt. I absolutely, positively believe that from the bottom of my heart. And uh, while there are other charities that are certainly worthwhile for everybody to be involved in, this is one that is very, very important. This is the future of our country. Uh, please go to race, R-A-A-C-E dot org. Uh, check out their site. Find out what they're all about. Uh, find out about the rally. Find out how to become involved. And even if you don't become involved with the organization itself, become involved within your own family. Absolutely. I'm here with the lovely and talented Kristen Jackson. Kristen, how are you? I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what kind of response am I supposed to have to that? Kristen, how are you? Good. Thank you for being on the show. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about your career, and I understand you just got your motorcycle license. Is that correct? That's right. Yeah. Finally did it. <laughs> Finally did it. Now, um, tell me a little bit about your career. I know you've got a lot of stuff going on. You've been in a lot of major magazines. I know you got some films behind you. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, I started off with Playboy, and I got to be in seven issues of that, so that was cool. And then I went on the Playboy TV. Mm -hmm. I've done some movies for National Lampoon and some magazines like FHM, Fit Models. And I've had a website for like, I guess the last four years now that's doing well. So I keep that, that going pretty good. Very good. And now I understand you spent a week at the mansion. 
It's a great experience if you can if you can try it. I, I'd love to. I, I mean, <laughs> the next time you're going out, let so me know. So you're sneaking I'll, in my suitcase I'll next time? I'll sneak in. Yep. <laughs> if you can carry me, I'll be there. Uh, now, uh, are you riding I have to get that yet? suitcase at wheels. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> well, we can certainly look for you on future episodes of Renegade TV. And why don't you tell our viewers uh, what your website is and how to find you? Definitely. If you want to see me anymore, check out www.kristen-jackson.com. Very good. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for having me. You're welcome.